They are all labeled. Okay, here we go. Let's go, guys. Let's go, Chef. I don't want to sit. Oh. It did not. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, when you guys are doing this, please make sure, please make sure your cake is sitting right on top of each other. You know, don't have it like sliding to one side or the other, right? Your primary objective is to make sure that the chocolate covers the surface area. So the way this is actually going to work in your favor is that, you remember the cardboard, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to go and get a little bit of chocolate, you're going to slap it on and you're going to follow the cardboard. <coughs> Everybody got that? Yes, sir. And obviously, um, right now, the crumb is not an issue. As long as we are here, the crumb is not an issue because this is what we call a crumb coat. Okay, guys? <coughs> Okay, we're not done in any, in any way or sorts, but what I want you to do is, I want you to hug the, the cardboard, but do not e lean towards the cake just yet. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because ultimately we want to make sure this thing looks like a perfect hockey puck. Okay guys? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit more on top. so I can create a little crown on the outer side. Does that make sense? So uh, now I'm gonna try to pick up the crown. <coughs> now we're gonna come about 45. Now we're going to refrigerate this. 
because this is the backbone. Yeah, this is the backbone, and the glaze is going to make it look awesome. Okay. So, in a way, I have failed you. Not one bit, Chef. No, uh, in terms of portion is concerned, but I still want you guys to make this batch because I have a feeling some of you guys may run out. Okay? Okay? Do what you can to control. Don't try to slap on too much in the beginning. This is just an initial phase in which where I want you guys to just get the feel for it. So you're just guiding it through the cardboard. The cardboard is your guide. And uh, sometimes, you know, you guys, you guys do tell me like, you know, it's a lot, I mean, it looks easy, but this one just happens to be easy, okay guys? It's not one of those things where you feel cheated, like, you know, shoot, this ain't as easy as it looks. This one is fairly easy, okay? Let me go back with excess chocolate. And your concern is to make sure that the excess ends up towards the outer part of the circle. Yes? Yes, sir. Because that will complete the picture for you. Good. Then you're going to bring the out towards in, and you're going to complete the circle. I, uh, I trust that you guys understand that, you know, yes, we cool the chocolate a little too much, but you guys can bring it right back, but I, I will be walking around just to make sure that, you know, you guys don't overcool it. But brought it back to a, a decent working consistency, but due to time, I'm not going to go ahead and get rid of all the semi-lumps. But you can still tell that the old geezer can actually do it with the lumps, right? <laughs> that goes in the refrigerator. And then we're going to chill it for just a little bit. We'll clean up and then we'll glaze. Okay, guys? Yes,